Good morning. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, if you're watching a bunch of air gun videos today, this will probably be the strangest one you're going to see. <clears throat> and why I'm doing this is uh, there's been a lot of talk about these uh, cartridges and how they might be leaking down and how long they hold pressure and that sort of thing. And uh, what it comes down to is you've got three possibilities. You could have a leak from this end uh, where it's going past whatever that stopper is there. You could have a leak from this end. This is where the uh, burst disc and cap are, you know. Uh, this one's actually already been burst. Um, but again, that burst disc is in there. Uh, it could be leaking from this end. The obvious third choice is user error. Uh, when you first get these uh, discs in, they have kind of a sheen to them, a little oily sheen. And uh, my guess is you're supposed to have a very, very light coating on them. So uh, being a Slick 50 fan, I just put Slick 50 uh, on the tin here that I'm testing. And since it's on my fingers, it's also on the threads. So these things got put back together with a very light coating of oil on the threads, a very light coating on the burst disc. And then my not so scientific experiment, because we don't know which end it leaks from or if it's user error, this is just a balloon. And the balloon has a wire tie from each end. If it's leaking out the tail end, we're going to see this balloon's going to air up. Even though it's only 37 cc's, that's at uh, 5,000 PSI, where in this case 4,500 PSI. That's enough to probably blow that balloon up 50 times, maybe more. I don't know the exact number. The same with this end. So these are going to set for one week. And in one week, I'm going to look and see how many have air airing up the balloons or balloons that have actually popped because they did leak down. We're going to get to know out of... 10 brand new cartridges these have never fired a single round 10 cartridges if one end leaks or the other end leaks or if none of them leak if none of them leak we might want to start looking back at user error and making sure we have a light coating of lube on the burst discs and on the threads everything's nice and clean tiny little piece of sand or dirt in there could be enough to keep that thing from fully sealing uh, and truth is, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. I just know that uh, it's something that's come up with a lot of people, so we want to figure out what it is. So this is the first half. These 10 have all been done up the same way. All are charged to 4,500 PSI. They're all going to go into a box and set there. Next Saturday, I'm going to look. I'm going to look to see if any of these have some air on one end or the other, or if any of them have burst, in which case, you know, a lot, a lot of air came out. And we'll know something at that point. So instead of just kind of, well, maybe there's a problem, maybe there's not, uh, this is a step in the right direction because we'll at least know on these 10 if anything leaked and at which end they leaked out. So uh, the other thing is I was looking around and I actually have uh, 10 defenders. And I'd like to get rid of those 10 defenders. So what I'm thinking is a uh, person can tell me in the next week before this next video, I'm going to go and change my website here in a few minutes, and if you decide you want a Defender and buy one, uh, in sometime this afternoon, I'm going to change it to a quantity of 10, and I'm going to say Defender Plus Bonus on the website. Now, you'll have to tell me whether you want two 9mm barrels or two 45 barrels, but the bonus is going to be a 410 shot shell barrel and 50 rounds of ammo. And that way, 10 people out there will be trying the uh, 410 shotgun barrel, and 50 rounds of ammo, and I'll start getting some feedback and see what you think of it. Um, and if it works out well, I'll do a bunch of them. But uh, I'm going to do 10 and 10 only for now. And uh, again, the website will be changed by noon or so. So if you're already looking for a Defender anyway, the price is the same as everybody else is charging. But with my Defender, you get uh, 50 rounds. In the case of the uh, 457, you get 50 rounds of the 456 ammo, which is what fits in there real good by hand. Uh, and you're going to get this bonus, which is the extra 410 barrel and the 50 rounds of 410 shot. Uh, lastly, let's grab a 45 barrel. I was talking to a fellow online and uh, seemed that there was a problem. And that problem was, I'm going to just screw that on there for aesthetic sake, just because it looks weird without it. He had a bunch of these where uh, there was real bad tooling marks on either side. He's having to use tools to separate these two. Uh, I don't work for AEA. I don't uh, have an engineering background. I have 35 years in automotive and then uh, mechanical background with tooling. And to me, what makes sense to me is, I believe these two were being screwed together, and then any old pellet was going in there, probably a 457, maybe bigger, depending on the maker, 
and then this was used to screw it in. So that put a tremendous amount of force on those very, very fine threads. Um, I don't, I think the thread right there is a uh, 14.5 by one millimeter. It's a very, very fine thread. And if you're putting that kind of torque on it, I think they probably see. So that kind of torque and no oil, they're gonna lock up pretty good. Here's what I think. You can just take it, it's my opinion. Take it, don't take it, whatever. Um, you put your pellet in. If you're using your own pellets, if you're making your own pellets, go buy a four, five, six sizer, uh, and at least by then you should be able to just about push it in with your thumb, get that pellet completely in there. Those fine threads are not designed to seat a pellet. So you get a pellet up in there, screw this one on. Tightness is not what's keeping this thing airtight. That little rubber seal is what's keeping it airtight. So you screw it on until you've seated that, you're done. No tooling, no super strong grip, gripping it, trying to tighten it. That rubber seal is what's supposed to keep it airtight there. That rubber seal down at the bottom here is what's supposed to keep it airtight. So if you got no dirt and if you got a light coating of lube on everything, I think everything should work okay. So anyway, that's it for this video in one week. I'll do a follow-up video, and that follow-up video will show you these 10 and what they look like a week from now, if any have blown up with air. So check in in a week. And again, if you are shopping for a Defender, you'll get not only 50 or 100 rounds of my pellets. If you get the 45, you'll also get the bonus, which will be a uh, 410 barrel and 50 410 shells with the instructions how to make more yourself. I'm going to sell them too, but it's simple enough to make if you're a do-it-yourself and want to make your own. So anyway, I appreciate your time. You'll have a great day. Take care.